Yeah, at least 17 people were killed on Saturday when the militant group Al-Shabaab attacked an army base located in the southwest region of the country. Security officials say the Basli base in the lower Shabela region was briefly occupied by the attackers who used suicide car bombs to force their way in. Seven Somali army soldiers and 10 Al-Shabaab fighters were killed after fierce fighting, according to Somali security forces. While claiming responsibility for the attack, Al-Shabaab claimed that it had killed 57 government soldiers. The claims could not be independently verified and Somali government officials could not be reached for comment. The militants have been fighting for nearly two decades to topple Somalia's central government and establish a strict interpretation of the Islamic Sharia law. The Somali National Army has regained huge swathes of land from the militants in an ongoing security operation. Well, CGTN's Mohamed Kahie is in Mogadishu for more on this. Mohamed, so what can you tell us about the deadly attack on a military base in Somalia in the lower Shabela region? Well, Beatrice, uh, the Somalia's Ministry of Defense has confirmed this attack, which, which they say it happened in Busle, which is just outskirts of Mogadishu, but in a region called Lower Shabela. The attack on Saturday morning started with suicide car bomb attacks, a tactic used by armed global Shabaab to attack Somalia's uh, military bases. Well, the, 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 the Al-Shabaab militants briefly occupied uh, the, 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 and took over the base before uh, they were driven out following reinforcement by Somalia's military, uh, Somalia's military, uh, uh, Somalia's military officers. Well, uh, the Somalia's Ministry of Defense has told us that, uh, well, there are casualties on both sides and still they're trying to assess the situation and investigate what really happened. But uh, uh, according to uh, officials who are not authorized to speak to the media, they say that uh, seven uh, uh, Somali soldiers, including the, 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 the commander of the base, were killed in this attack. And also 10 Al-Shabaab uh, fighters who have invaded this base were also neutralized in this process. Well, this attack comes a uh, few days uh, after Al-Shabaab militants attacked a popular hotel here in Mogadishu, mm -hmm. where uh, more than uh, five people were killed. And, 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 and just the police say that 16 people were apprehended in connection to this attack, and they'll be brought to uh, uh, court in coming days. Well, Mohammed, is there an upsurge in attacks in Somalia at the moment? And how is the government uh, reacting to the attacks? Well, Beatrice, uh, we have seen that during, since the start of the holy month of Ramadan, Al-Shabaab has uh, intensified its attacks on various uh, regions, especially in, in Galmuduk region, where the government has registered significant success uh, since the operation against Al-Shabaab was launched by President Hassan Shah Mahmoud government uh, some one year ago. ago. But we have seen that uh, the, the troops have retreated from several strategic uh, uh, towns which they have recaptured before due to what they term as tactical uh, you know, withdrawal. We've also seen that Al-Shabaab intensified its attacks, uh, especially in lower uh, Shabelle region where this particular attack of the army base took place, where they have a strong presence. Uh, and, and, and all this is connected to, unfortunately, what is happening in the country right now, especially uh, political tensions uh, connected to the constitutional amendments uh, in Somalia. And we have seen that uh, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, leaders in the country uh, from this uh, different uh, spectrum calling on the government to focus on security matters and uh, divert the attention of, uh, uh, of, 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 of political tensions which might uh, lead to, you know, security setbacks uh, that was achieved uh, some few, few uh, during the past two years.